Oh, okay. What's up, everybody? Um, good morning, shall I say, because it's only about 8.35, 8.40, almost 9 a.m. But um, I wanted to put this video out. I do have some things that I hurry. I got to do. got to wash my hair and stuff. Um, I have a class this afternoon, um, which I'm going to talk about in this video as well, um, through the Army Family Team Building. I have a class. But um, there's a couple things I just want to talk about this morning, really quick. Excuse me, I'm eating breakfast at the same time because, like I said, I have um, a class to do. I gotta wash my hair and a lot of other things. But let me get right into it. Okay, so there's quite a few things I've noticed since I've been here at Bliss. We're at Fort Bliss. For anyone who doesn't under doesn't know, we got here December sixth of 2018, and I mean no, not December sixth, December third, 2018, and um. Right now, it is February the 12th, I believe. My birthday's next week, <laughs> on February 18th. But, um, yeah, there's a few things I've noticed since we've been here um, about Bliss. I hope in other bases are not like this. But, um, I mean, there's some good points and bad points. And I'm not really, like, you know, um, jumping to conclusions with it or whatever. But, anyway, um, let's start it off. So... We got here to Fort Bliss um, back in December, beginning of December. Um, once we got here, sorry, my husband's texting me at the same time. <laughs> once we got here, they, we got here, we moved to our house. Um, we waited a couple days after furniture got here or whatever. My husband had started going to work. He only been going like maybe three days or something. Excuse me. And the next thing you know, they're like, hey, you're leaving in two days. You're um, deploying in two days. And I'm like, wait, my husband's leaving in two days? Like, we literally just got here to El Paso. And now my husband is leaving. <laughs> and I don't know where I'm at yet. I'm here in this place. I have no idea where I'm at. I don't know anything about the town, the city, the people. I don't know anything about the base. I don't know where to go seek information from. I don't know anything. We've only been here for like two days, and then my husband was leaving. <clears throat> and then they gave him very short notice like I felt a little robbed in the beginning because like a lot of people's husbands got like um they got like a fair warning of when they were leaving so it would possibly be like they were telling them they had like a month or two before they left but my husband only had like two days and they were like hey y'all will leave in two days and he had just gotten here um and then those two days I felt like we were robbed too because most people would like try to spend time together you know do this that and the third but we never got to do any of that because those two days that um, before he left, they basically gave him his list and he had to go to different um, buildings on post and get the gear that they used to deploy with. So, and then when he got the gear, he was going here and there and everywhere. They were still like meeting, they were still having PT. And then they gave him a packing list. He had to go pick up different things. When they get back, they turn those things back in um, at the buildings that they got them from. It's like a like a, a storage facility where they keep like deployment gear at, and then they issue it out to you when you deploy. And then when you get back, you um, they like a checklist. You turn it back in. But anyway, those two days, he was like going, picking up this gear, coming home. Like our whole living room was just packed full of like all his gear and everything in there, um, and he was like focused on packing this bag to precision. So we never got to spend any time together. I never got to explore the city with him. I never got to do anything with him or the kids here in this city because he left. And I felt very shorted. I was very angry. And then um, when we when I went to go drop him off, because we went to go drop him off at the location where they leave from, and um, he was there with his unit, and... The chaplain showed up. The chaplain's like, hey, do you, you know, you guys ready? So I'm like, eh. He's like, how long you been here? I'm like, two days, three days max now. Do you know anything or anyone? No, I have no idea who anyone is. And the chaplain's like, oh, well, let me go. Give me some little time. go next door. I'm going to get some information for the FRG people. And I'm going to contact them and I'm come back to you. I said, oh, okay. Because I've heard about the FRG. Um, I was one of those ladies that watched um, Army Wives. Yeah, nothing like that, by the way. But, um... He went and got the information, came back, had this number, this information, these people's names. Like, I had no idea, like, what unit my husband was in, like, what brigade, what company, what 
I didn't know anything. I didn't even, I didn't know nothing besides my husband's name. <laughs> That's the only thing I knew. So they left. Lo and behold, the FRGs like that I've seen here so far are not awesome. Like many of them are kind of falling apart here. And that may be the case where you're at. Please do not get discouraged. Um, that's something I had to look past also. Like, the one that was here, like, they never contacted me. So I went to these classes. Um, I, I decided to get out myself and start trying to do things besides sitting at home, not knowing anything, being kind of depressed, stressed, and confused. I decided to get out and do some stuff. So I got out. I, um... Did some research online first. It was stuff on post at first because if you ain't never been to El Paso driving around, it's a whole nother world. Like it's freaking ridiculous driving in El Paso. Like that's a whole nother another video. Like just pray before you leave. If you're religious, pray before you leave. If you're not religious, still pray before you leave because yeah, El Paso driving is just. Anyway, I took classes. I took classes at ACS. The first class I took at ACS was a newcomer scoop. That's what they call it here. And basically, it's a class you go to. They let you know if you're new, brand new spouse, or if not even a brand new spouse, but like someone that's just now coming to Fort Bliss Base or whatever, you can take this class called newcomer scoop. And basically, they give you all the information of things that are on post. Um, the, let's see, there's a counselor and counseling places, there's medical, the medical facilities, um, basically it lets you know information that is not, like, just readily out there, you find it, like, skip over and find the type of thing, but, like, you know, that someone with experience would come and tell you about, so we've had, we had that day of briefing, people talking, telling us stuff, you know, we sat down, we took notes, we were, um, had, like, little, light refreshments, stuff. it was really cool, got to know the people that were there. The net, and then we went and had um, lunch with them, and lunch was on the people. The the ACS people paid for lunch for everyone, which is really cool because it gave us opportunity to get to know people. We also got to um, see the housing people and stuff, which we already live on post. Anyone who's seen my other videos know that we already live on post, so that didn't really apply to me. But a post housing, um, like the maintenance people with the housing, the nursing and hospital people. Um, the counseling people, ACS people, which has like a ton of stuff that they have available. Um, I would really tell anyone that's brand new to any installation you go to, there's always an ACS. ACS is Army. I'm going to have to look that word up. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> so many acronyms after a while. Army Community Service. Excuse me. ACS, Army Community Service. Miss Tanya, you can see my video. I'm sorry. She's a teacher that I, another class I took. But anyway, ACS, Army Community Service, basically has like a newcomer's um, package that you can go and pick up. In a newcomer's package they have, they have like a local map. It'll have like local classes, events, um, different services that are available in the community. They will, and even if they don't have a package, you can go there, tell them, hey, I'm new here. I don't know anything. And they will help you um, figure out and find things for you that fit what you need in the community with um, ACS. So they're pretty awesome. So please look up um, ACS at whatever base you're at because there's always an ACS no matter where you're at. At any post that you go to, there will always be an ACS for the Army. And then, um, like I took a newcomer class, we did that. And then the, sec the second day, it was really cool because we actually, um, they chartered us a bus and we went out into the community and they basically took us around the entire city. Um, El Paso is kind of, is a really large city and place in the desert. And then it's like weird because half of it sits on like, it's almost like it's, it's built around huge mountains and the mountains are like in the middle. So you travel around these whole mountains like Trans Mountain and, and all these other mountains. I don't know. And then you look on one side and, the, and Mexico is right there. Like literally Mexico is like in our backyard. So, um... We traveled around the entire city. They showed us some really cool locations, some museums, like comedy clubs. Um, basically, they showed us how what we could do entertaining for ourselves and for our children off post as well as on post. So I thought it was really cool because they let us know what was available off post that we could possibly do as well. Anyway, that was one of the classes I took with um, ACS. 
Um, and then through ACS, I found out about AFTB, which is Army Family Team Building. Army Family Team Building has a lot of classes, a lot of information. I actually have one today. That's what I'm saying. I had a class. And I went there and to the very first class, like super nervous, didn't know anything. Went there. You, you call them. Well, you can look on AFTB, whatever base you're at. Look for that basis, AFTB, Army Family Team Building. So for here, it was El Paso's Army Family Team Building. Um, if you're at Fort Benning or Fort Bragg, then look for Fort Benning, Army Family Team Building or whatever. But they always have all, some classes, which are really cool, and I love that. And basically, um, I took a class called um, What Is It? I took a class on formals. Today, I have a class called What's In It For Me? Basically, the what is it class is a beginner's class. And it basically tells you about the Army, about the Army life. It um, helps you understand acronyms, which are the ACS, AFTB, and so on. All the little short words, the um, little abbreviated things they use, whatever, the, the letters instead of whole words and stuff. But um, it, that was one class I took. That was the very first one. It helps you understand about your soldier, about where you're at, about the Army values, and so on. And then I took next to the formal class. Formal class is awesome, too. It basically tell, talks to you about formal events. It hits on the Army balls, which is one of the main reasons why I went, because I know that we're going to have an Army ball come up eventually. And I want to know how to... I mean, not behave. I'm not like wild child or anything like that. But I want to know, you know, I don't want to go there and seem like totally confused and lost. I don't want to seem like I have no idea what the heck is going on. So I went to the class. They hit up on the teas they have, which are like these little like tea socials they have. The dining in and dining out events. There's two of those. One of them, your spouse attends. The other um, is just for the soldier himself. Um, the military ball, it basically explains to you what to wear at the teas, the dining, um, out, the military balls, other military formal events, the, um, little, like, dinners and stuff that they have, events they have. It, like, it basically said what to wear. It told, broke down the customs of things, how everything went, when you were supposed to stand, when you were not supposed to stand. We actually this really cool, like, place setting where she set up a place. A, like a, a little like place that had like the plates, the bowls, the um, glass, like the wine bottles, the glasses and stuff, and basically showed us how everything works because a certain way that things work with the military is like all within some sort of like structure. So that was a really cool class that we took also. Today I have a class called What's In It For Me, which basically talks about um, the benefits of a military spouse and what you can get out of, you know, your best qualities or whatever you can find with being a military spouse. Um, I enjoy taking the classes because I meet new people, which I've met quite a few people. There's awesome people I've met. One lady I've met that I go to the gym with every day now. Um, she's very sweet. She has children about my age. And I've met a lot of people, a lot of spouses through that, um, as well as some awesome teachers. The teachers there, they are also military spouses. Um, they've been military spouses for quite a few years, sometimes 20, 30 years, or whatever. Very friendly, loving people. So I enjoy... I enjoy going to classes, and it's something to do because I am a stay-at-home mom, so a lot of my time is spent here at the house or now at the gym or just out exploring where I'm at um, whenever the kid's not around. So, the FTB classes are really awesome. Um, there's quite a few other ones. Oh, and here they have something called um, Operation Deploy Your Dress. I think I'm saying it right. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm not sure. But basically what happens is they take you, um, you get to go every year, once a year, you go and you, you pick out a free formal dress from um, like this um, shop that a lot of the um, higher rank wives, military spouse hold. And basically they get dresses donated to them and they bring all the dresses in and they hang them in like this almost boutique style type of thing. You go in, you find the dress that you like and um, you take that dress you get an accessory or shoes, and there's your formal dress for that year, um, which I think is pretty cool. I, I got a dress from there. I like it kind of, but not really kind of like it. They really didn't have a, to me, a large variety, especially with, like, plus size type people. I'm, like, a weird size, so I'm in between, like, the plus size and then the regular size, like, women. So between the, like, 16, 18 range, and I didn't really find very many cute dresses there. I found one that was pretty cool that I like. I got that one. 
I'll keep it and it's like a wrap dress and um, probably wear it to an event but I think for our first ball I found the dress a lot I think I'm gonna probably order for that one um let me see but yes please look up the AFTB Army Family Team Building and the ACS Army Community Service Buildings um they are a lot of help. They've helped me out a lot. Besides me being like, at first, when, I, when my husband first left, I felt very hurt, angry, alone, because I was here by myself. Like, my family's 3,000 miles away. This is our very first duty station. I felt a little bit bamboozled, kind of, because, like, you know, my husband had already been gone for, like, seven months already. Um, with basic training and an AIT and then he was kind of screwed up a little bit with um, AIT because they had him as a holdover because I um, saw my other video for AFTB and that's for um, like disabilities our daughter our older daughter has like some um, learning disabilities and health issues so um, we were originally supposed to go to Fort Houston's which was an hour away from where we originally lived, but then we ended up not going to Fort Houston. We ended up coming um, to Fort Bliss, which is like 3,000 miles away from where we're from. So I'm by myself here. I didn't know anyone here. I became kind of like a little bit depressed, sad. And then I, I started looking through things and then I started making phone calls. And then I just like, you know what? I'm going to get out and see what I can find. So I got out and started exploring and I found the, the ACS building. And then through that, I found the AFTB building um, and started going to these classes. Like I just started going to every class I could take, just basically learning whatever I could. It was, you know, like it consumed time and helped me meet people and got me out of the house and I it helped a lot and with that it gave me the confidence to actually go out into the leave off post and go out into the El Paso community and I started to explore things and have seen some awesome places um, that I've been you know writing down because I want to go there with my husband whenever he finally um, comes back I'm not sure when he's going to come back he's supposed to be back like two months ago but they keep pushing their date for them to come home back. So I'm not sure when he's going to come here. He doesn't know. Nobody knows. I don't think Uncle Sam knows. Um, everything seems to be very last minute with the Army. It's almost like a... The hurry up and wait thing is, is a very a very good term. Because a whole lot of stuff is hurry up and wait and just wait some more. But um, I want to do this video really quick as one and informative for... Um, spouses that are in new places just some places that you can actually go out and look up um, like the AFTB and the ACS and I totally recommend those places I'm an introvert I'm a very shy person I don't like dealing with a lot of people but um, those the places help me a lot and I'm still an introvert and I still don't like dealing with a lot of people but I enjoy going to those events because I get to I get my little bit of interaction I need with people and I learn I've learned so much. I'll come back and I'll talk to my husband about it whenever we video chat. I'll tell him what I learned. You know, it's pretty cool. And then some things he doesn't even know, um, which is really interesting. Because some things with the military, um, I've learned that they will hit on or they'll do like a really, they'll do what they call like a briefing, which is them briefly talking to everyone at the same time about this thing and then move on to something else. And then, the, and then your soldier. I don't know why my throat's hurting, so I keep drinking. Um, your soldier hears it, but he doesn't really hear it. So then whenever you get this information, you bring it back to him, and you talk to him about it, and he's telling like, oh, I never heard of that. Even though they say, oh, well, we told your soldier this, this, and that, but it that's how pretty much how it works. So ACS and AFTB have definitely helped me to get more knowledge um, on the Army life and the Army values and then Army spouses and then um, different services that are available in the community, which has really helped me a lot. Um, they have counselors at ACS where you basically walk in there and if you're feeling any certain type of way, you need to talk to someone, you're feeling alone, hurt, depressed, or like you're having a moment, you can just walk into ACS and ask for a counselor and they will get a counselor to you as soon as physically possible that you can sit and you can talk with as long as you need to. And if you don't want to come into the building and talk to them, um, those the counselors will out, actually meet you out in the community somewhere. Like if you decided, okay, well, I want to go to um, the PX um, and eat or whatever, could you meet me at the PX, you know, and like, um, 
subway or something and they'll meet you there to sit and just talk to you and hear what you're feeling what you're thinking and they'll talk to you about the situation which is really cool um and army family team building has so many classes it's so helpful it has helped me so much like it's mind-blowing how much it's helped me the classes are amazing the teachers are awesome i've learned so much so when i go to my um i actually have <clears throat> like seasoned spouses because you'll learn that if your husband is new in the military it, he's a he's like a junior enlisted or um your new spouse um and soldier and then if your husband has been in for a while they consider they call them seasoned spouses but um, I've actually had seasoned spouses that I know. My neighbor is one of them. And she's supposed to be teaching me like some couponing stuff or whatever. But then one day when she was going to meet with me, I had a class. <clears throat> so I told her, like, I got a class to go to, whatever. So, um, sorry, my husband's still texting me. I was reading his text messages. Um, she's like, well, what class are you taking? I tell her I'm going to take the formal class or whatever on the formal events. And she was like, oh, my gosh. She's like, I'm going to be honest with you. I really wish I had taken a class like that whenever I first got here because the very first formal was a rude awakening for me. Um, so that made me feel a little, a little good. Like, ah, you know what? I went and took some classes. Like, I should have. Good for me. <laughs> I don't want to be that person that goes to the first formal um, ball or tea party or something and I'm wearing the wrong things and saying the wrong things and standing and saluting when I'm not supposed to. Like, I don't know. Um, I didn't want to be like that. So when I saw the class, I was like, oh, I need those. I really got to go wash my hair. I hope you guys can hear me through the whole thing because the dishwasher is going off. Um, but as far as El Paso here so far, it's been... It's been awesome. I mean, I, I love living in El Paso. I mean, I love living in El Paso. Um... The weather's pretty awesome most times. It's not really cold. Um, it gets a little chilly, and that's usually at night and early in the morning. Um, like any desert place, like it's cold in the afternoon, it's warmer in the, in the daytime. Um, the thing that really sucks here, it does not really rain here, first of all. It, like, hardly ever rains here. If it does, it's like little sprinkles, and then it's just done. But the thing that, that really bothers me here is sandstorms. Like, there's a sandstorm, high wind advisory, and sandstorm, like, every other day. Like, <clears throat> every other day. I mean, the sandstorms and windstorms, like, when the winds blow really hard, you can, like, hardly see anything but dirt. And it's kind of annoying, but I guess it's part of being in the desert. But whatever. Um, yeah, anyway, so this video is pretty long. I'm going to end this video. But um, I do want to just encourage any wives that happen to be out there that are in a situation like mine or similar to mine or heck, even if you haven't had a situation like this, but you're feeling a certain type of way, I encourage you to um, go out and seek those resources um, and understand that you're not the only one that's feeling that way because I felt very angry and shorted um, whenever we got here and then my husband was gone. I was just kind of left by myself. Oh, and then um, the... Uh, FRG here that the chaplain supposedly hooked me up with or whatever. Yeah, I never heard from them. So when I had went to one of the AFTB classes, the AFTB people contacted them. They were supposed to contact me. I still never heard from them. So I went online to my husband's um, like battalion page. It was asking questions about the FRG. They contacted someone who was supposed to contact me. The person eventually messaged me back on uh, Facebook. And, um, told me that they had a package they were going to bring by to me or whatever. And for me to, um, go through the information and get a paperback to them. But they didn't really have, like, a leader leader anymore. Their FRG had fallen apart, blah, 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 whatever. So that day I went to go meet her to get the package. Little to say, I, I sat at Starbucks for, like, two hours and the person never came. Like, never came. So I messaged, I sent emails, a text message, phone call three or four times, nothing. Never heard from the person. So then someone from the battalion's page had messaged me again, asked had I heard from someone from the FRG for my husband's unit. And I told them, no, I still haven't heard from anyone. Apparently they contacted the person to find out what was going on. The person then sent me a text message. It was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry to meet with you. I was sleeping, blah, blah, blah. And, um, can I bring the information by your house later? They live on post somewhere too. So I was like, uh, sure. 
So they brought the information over to me, the package over to me, gave it to me, was apologizing and all the other jazz. Um, I get the package coming like great filing some information on my husband's unit because I want to be involved in whatever's happening with my husband's unit. I want to know what's happening, what's going on. So I um, opened the package and y'all, they literally gave me crap from the date was like 2017 on it. <laughs> It had, it was like two years out of date, the paperwork they gave me. They gave me a package, and they had like classes for AFTB and ACS, but it was two-year-old classes. It was like from October 2017, and I'm like, what? Then the girl gives me a paper and tells me to fill out this paper and turn the paper in when I can, but never told me who to turn the paper in. Never have I heard from this person again, contacted this person again. I have not heard a darn word. And it's almost like this is something that echoes around the base because you hear this a lot from a lot of people here. A lot of people here talk about the FRGs here that are not that great. Um, I have a couple, like two friends that have become FRG leaders who are trying to actually get the FRGs running. They're, they're awesome. I wish they were like FRG leaders for my group of people. I really do. But it seems that nobody cares much about my husband's unit. Like, I, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. But yeah, um, that's pretty much been my experience so far. I'm going to end this video because my husband keeps texting me. So obviously he wants me to call him. <laughs> Um, I do have to wash my hair because it is now 9 and the kids get out of school early today at 12, 15 and I have a, a class at 1 o'clock and I haven't started on anything. So I got this thing to do. Anyway, I hope this video can reach one, if it reaches one spouse that feels like I felt um, and still, still sometimes do feel, then I hope that it helps someone. Um, like I said in the beginning when my husband left, I was like not very well put together um very depressed very sad i was angry i felt like angry like i was shorted because my husband was gone and i had just gotten him back and through those classes and the mutual conversations um i kind of those feelings kind of went away because i understood one there were other people that were that were feeling the same way i was that were in the same boat that i was in their husbands were, husbands were also gone. They were also in need of um, support and help. And understanding that it's just, just a part of life for us now was something that I had to realize. But um, please know there are resources and support out there for anyone that needs it. And if you have any questions or you want to talk about anything, please don't hesitate to send me a message or a comment. Because if you see on my other videos and you want to ask me a question, I'm quick to answer it as quick as I can. I've not gotten my editing down, so my videos are not, like, cool-looking editing yet. Like, some videos I see, I'm waiting for my husband to come home so he can try to work through that situation with me. Um, but I do just still want to keep putting information out there for anyone that possibly needs it, no matter how, how, like, lame or I have no intro or music or whatever else it is. But anyway, um, I really hope that this reaches a spouse or a soldier that could possibly show it to their spouse that may need it. Um... I wish you guys all the best, and until my next video, you guys have a great day. Thanks.